you were actually rather popular on the BBC. Your thought for the days uh, were listened to uh, by some really rather important people. I think somebody, actually, that we've been mentioning already in this show. I understand perhaps even Her Majesty the Queen might have been one of your fans. Well, she, her, her Majesty, bless her, came to Manchester uh, about 15 years ago and she spent the morning with the Jewish community and she was presented to the president of the community and shook hands and said, is Rabbi Waiwai here? To which he rather embarrassedly said, no, ma'am. He said, oh, what a pity. Well, we think he's awfully good and we listen all the time on the radio. So, yeah, I suppose I must have had some success on the BBC. Yeah, you must have done. You must have done. Now, the BBC is our, you know, our national state broadcaster, uh, not as popular in many quarters as it once was, uh, and its neutrality, of course, uh, has been questioned uh, repeatedly over the last few years. Just very quickly, tell us about this incident and the way that you feel the BBC reported it. Well, first of all, you're 100% right. The neutrality of the BBC is always up for debate. Uh, my 30 years there, it's club. It's a membership thing. And a symbol of membership is absolutely required reading of The Guardian. And you see people wandering about the BBC cartoon, cart, uh, canteen yes. all the time yes. with their guardians under there. You know this. I do. Um, then, I mean, you, you might get away with reading The Times, but if you're a Telegraph reader, you're toast. You have no career. You will now find your new position is working in the BBC bar as the dartboard. Uh, that's, that's about it. The BBC certainly has a culture, and the culture is woke, left-wing, and always has been. Now, there's the old debate, can you separate your politics from um, your objective uh, reporting? Hmm. Not convinced. Well, well no. I've been able... And, and this, this, this particular incident, Rabbi, this particular incident, this was a group of Jewish kids on a bus uh, feeling threatened by people outside, and the BBC reporting, which you described as inexcusable, suggested that the Jewish children had made racial slurs. You know, even more than that, the kids celebrating a Jewish festival were on the, the pavement doing a wee bit of a dance, was surrounded by, and apparently as Muslim guys, um, giving Nazi salutes, F the Jews, Palestine. He's just a bunch of Jewish kids. Nothing, no, they're not Israelis. They're not Zionists. Nobody's interviewed them. They said, flee on the bus. The guys started attacking the bus. Um, the BBC first reported that there were, were anti-Muslim slurs from the kids, plural. They withdrew that turned it into one claim that one of the kids made an anti-Muslim slur. This is after the guys are telling F.U. and yeah. and and, and C. Kyle, uh, etc. And um, this has been now analysed by uh, a forensic voice expert who says that's not true. The BBC should have apologised, should have said we got it wrong, but it yeah. very rarely does. But in this case, it was critical that it did because its, its relationship with the Jewish community is in tatters as a consequence. And having been there for 30 years, worked with some superb people, Yeah, uh, I had to say goodbye. Well, was it just this incident, or do you feel there is perhaps a, a bias, a pro-Palestinian, anti-Israeli bias uh, that is there within BBC News broadcast? I don't think there's the slightest doubt of that one. You don't spend tens of thousands of pounds fighting the release of your own internal inquiry into your own, that showed prejudice of exactly that time, um, unless it exists within the BBC. And having worked there for 30 years, I'm, I, I, can, I can give you many incidents that show that. However... Well, um, well I, these, these are very serious charges. You've said what you've said with great passion. Uh, you will be missed on the Today programme, but I'm sure you're going to pop up somewhere else pretty soon. Rabbi Rubenstein, thank you very much indeed for joining us. And the BBC, in response, have said, we are sorry to hear of Rabbi Y.Y. Rubenstein's decision, as he has always provided thoughtful and compassionate contributions to our programmes, which have been deeply appreciated by our listeners. Anti-Semitism is abhorrent, and we strive to serve the Jewish community and all communities across the UK fairly. Mm. Very, very interesting.